Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about the Negetti St. Bart's Tote in the medium size. All right, so it is a rainy, gloomy, overcast day here today, but I have a bunch of things that I want to go ahead and get recorded and out for you guys, and one of them being this Negetti St. Bart's Tote in the medium size. I originally shared this one when I unbox them or a first impression or something on this one as well as the mini size i believe it might be the petite size it's the one that's smaller than this one has a crossbody strap um, but i unboxed both of those sizes for you guys and kind of shared my first impressions i will put the video up here or down below or somewhere if you might have missed that but today i want to concentrate solely on this one because it's the one that i've been getting asked about the most and it's the one actually that i've been using a ton. I'm really, really good, but I've been using this one. So we're going to talk all about it, do like a quick little review, um, and then I'm going to show you what I have packed inside, of course, so that you can see how things fit in it. And then I'm going to do a quick little comparison of this tote to the MZ Wallace small Metro Tote Deluxe because it's kind of similar in shape and vibe, and that's like a comparison that I've been asked about. So we're going to kind of touch on those differences as well. All right, there is so much that i love about this tote it comes in a ton of different colors they seem to release new ones every now and again kind of seasonally but i absolutely have been loving it this is the hmm, i'll put here what the color is called because i have forgotten but it is a very pretty like cream color all of negetti's bags are made with neoprene material and one of the very common questions that i have been getting in regards to this brand and these bags are what is the neoprene like does it have like a weird funky odor because sometimes with neoprene bags you can get them and they can just smell weird i don't know and sometimes very overpowering and strong these bags don't have an odor to them whatsoever that i saw at least when i have mine so that was not an impression that i got with these um the neoprene material is super forgiving in all types of weather i've had this out in the rain a ton um it's obviously like nicely wipeable um the material as you can see here does give a bit of like a stretch to it so for example with this particular size i see a lot of like models online or whatever um showing that this bag can be worn over the shoulder and i'm going to show you how it fits over my shoulder so yes <laughs> i mean i guess you can wear it here over the shoulder but i i don't think that it's comfortable like it stretches to your shoulder and it does kind of give a little bit down here you can do it especially if you're traveling or somewhere that you need to attempt to be kind of hands-free with this one you could put it over your shoulder. Um, I never carry it over my shoulder. I typically will just carry it like so, or I will carry it here um, in like the crook of my arm. So that's how I like to carry it, but I guess you can, like you just saw, carry it over your shoulder. <laughs> This bag here does not come with a crossbody strap option. The two smaller versions of this one do come with crossbody options. So you have like a petite and a mini size. Um, I have the one that's down from this one. And then you also have a large option of this. So if you need something even bigger than this, it is exactly the same, only a bit bigger. Again, no crossbody strap or anything like that on that particular size. Another thing that I wanna note about this one, which might bug some of you, <laughs> it doesn't bother me, but there is no top closure to this bag whatsoever. It is a open bucket type tote. As you can see, I have all my things kind of inside there. So that might be a deal breaker for some of you. For me, as you guys know, I leave the tops of my all my bags open. It's just, I don't know, it's just something that I've always done, um, unless I am traveling. So obviously if I'm traveling, everything needs to be like in a pouch, zipped up, nice and secure, especially if I'm airplane traveling where I need to put something under the seat in front of me. I don't want stuff rolling out of there. So I don't know that this would be my top choice for a travel bag, only for that reason. But um, size wise, I mean, it would be fantastic <laughs> as a travel bag. So I guess if you pack it similar to the way I have mine packed today, which is full of pouches, I just have kind of my keys there loose on top, then you could easily travel with it. But um, 
Other than that, I would probably pick other ones over this one as far as traveling goes, but it is such a forgiving material that, I don't know, I can be convinced either way. This tote does come with a neoprene pouch that is obviously made out of the same material, the same color of the bag. You do have a zipper here at the top of it and a nice kind of cloth light color lining on the inside. So it's a nice big size. Side by side, obviously this one is all packed up, so it's going to give larger than this one that is empty right now. Um, they are very, very similar in size. I do feel like this Negetti um, medium tote is a bit bigger capacity wise than this one. I haven't really put it to the test, so I'm gonna be doing it with you guys here in a minute, but the overall kind of look and size of the bag is very, very similar. Um, a couple of things that I like more about this MZ Wallace tote than I do over the Negetti. At first I thought that they were going to be pretty much the same and I was gonna have a very glaring like one that I like over the other, but they're actually quite different. <laughs> I know they're totally different materials, so that should have been obvious, but this one here, I like that it is just a little bit softer of a bag and it kind of packs down really, really small, so it makes it easy to store, easy to travel, um, things like that. It holds up really, really well in weather, just like the Negetti one does. This one here um, does have an option of a crossbody strap, which I do kind of wish that one had, especially if I was going to attempt to use it for traveling or something like that. This one here, you do have that option. Um, this one here also zippers at the top of the bag. So like I said, I know that's a deal breaker for some, not for me, but I know for a lot of you. Um, and there are some exterior zippers on this one. One thing that I kind of wish that um, Negetti Tote had was just like one simple exterior pocket for like a cell phone or keys or something like that because I have everything packed in pouches because it's so big and so open and no top closure that like a couple of smaller items would be nice to have in some sort of like an exterior pocket. So this one here obviously has those types of pockets. You can wear this one different ways, crossbody over the shoulder, and then of course, just in kind of the crook of your arm, like you typically would <laughs> that Negetti bag. So those are just some similar things about both of them, kind of differences. I think we'll be able to really tell how they compare um, when I put the camera down and like pack it up. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and unpack this Negetti tote and move everything into the MZ Wallace tote so that we can see how those two compare. I also wanted to mention that I have something that I've been working on over break that I'm hoping will be something that you guys will enjoy here in the new year. I have created a what's in my bag page on my blog. So right when you go to the main page of my blog at the very, very top, there's a shop my favorites tab and there's also a what's in my bag tab. And the difference between those two is the the shop my favorite tab is simply all of the brands that I typically work with if I have a discount code or something like that it's always going to live there on that page so that you guys can get to it really quickly when you're shopping um, the what's in my bag page is similar to the favorites only it breaks down what I typically carry in my bag so it has my handful of wallets that you'll see throughout some of my bags handful of pouches it will have planner stuff in there it'll have um, link to my Amazon shop, which has most of my beauty products or my little pill case or anything that you guys see in my bags is gonna live there on that page. So if you are shopping and you're like, oh, what was that random item that Ashley had in her bag? You can go to that one spot and you can hopefully easily find it. All right, so here's the tote all packed up. I have a lot in here. So obviously if you don't have it packed quite as structured or quite as full as I have it, it's going to give a more slouchy and like loose feel to it, but I have like my planer and all the things inside of it. So that's why it holds such good shape, I guess, if you will. So right here on top, I have my keys with my Oventure key ring. This is probably one of the only things that I just have kind of loosely hanging out in there. Um, I really try to keep this one organized as I carry it because I don't want things you know, to fall out of it, especially if I have it packed so full. So I have my keys kind of hanging out in there. When I use a big O-ring, it's kind of easy to get them out of there. And then tucked right over here, I do have my eyeglasses. I really need to get a better case for them, but this is just a small little like flimsy case. Um, tucked right here, I have my wallet 
and I'm currently in the MZ Wallace Passport wallet, I think is what it's called. I had a trouble finding this one when I was linking it in my wallets video. So I don't know if it's um, maybe discontinued. I sure hope not, but I love this thing. I have cards over here and then over in this spot, I have like some cash and receipts and things like that. It's designed obviously to kind of hold a passport here, um, but it's just really, really nice, like soft MZ Wallace um, leather. That's better. I went ahead and, and I turned off that overhead light. It's so dark and overcast today. I can't tell if it's better with or without the light. Oh man, it drives me bananas. But anyways, moving along. Um, I have the book that I'm reading, the planner and the notebook that I'm in and a couple of pouches. So we'll just start kind of pulling out some of these pouches. Right here in the middle is the small um, pouch from the Lily Jade packing cases. This is like a pretty kind of slate green or green gray color. And I have all of my tech stuff. So I have my portable charger. Um, I have my charger for my phone. I have pens down there. I had sticky notes and stuff like that for my planners in here as well. So this is like my planner tech pouch. And then right over here is actually kind of a funny, <laughs> like it's not, it's like, I have snacks packed inside of this and it's definitely not a pouch that's designed to necessarily hold snacks. It's kind of like a small train case for like makeup or toiletries. It's made by MZ Wallace. I'm not sure if they have this exact one in stock at the moment, but I really like to use it for snacks because it keeps them from getting squished. So anytime that I'm carrying more than like a granola bar, um, I will use this from time to time and it works out really good. <laughs> I have a big bag of these Quest protein chips that I really like. I also have two little on-the-go um, seaweed chips. I eat these like snacking in the car sometimes. I'm trying to find better car line snacks. <laughs> um, kind of bars. I love these. I have a bunch in here for me and my kids. And then I have a bunch of like turkey, like chicken sticks kind of down in here. So tons fit in here. Obviously it's not even really a snack bag, but like I said, I use it for one and it works out really, really well. Back here in the back, I have an eight and a half by 11 Erin Condren notebook. It is the planner slash notebook that I'm using for all of my Gator Mom stuff this year and it's working out really well. The inside that I'm sure you guys have seen time and time before is the priority and notes layout. So you have boxes over here that I usually use one for each day of the week. And then you have just a notebook section over here. That's kind of like a brain dump for me. So this works out really well. I have that in there. And then I also have the current planner that I'm using um, for 2024. And this here is the Erin Condren hourly layout, which is really working great. Um, I like it a lot. You do have a month at a glance section and then you can go into like your hourly weekly spread so this is the one i've been using that i have been enjoying i also have the current book that i'm reading back into another carly book this is really good um meet me at the lake i'm only like one or two chapters in so i haven't finished it yet but the other one i read by her was so good so i know this one's going to be good also Last but not least is a pouch down there in the bottom. I love this pouch, especially in larger bags because it kind of holds like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and in smaller bags, it almost acts as like an insert. So I'll take that out and show you what I have inside. But I did want to show you what this bag does when you have nothing packed inside. So as you can see, it's not like flopping over. It does hold its shape because of this like neoprene type material. Um, so it's not one that's going to completely like flop over on you when you're not using it. It does kind of, um, or when you don't have it packed full, I mean, it does kind of hold its shape really, really nicely. So that's something that I like about these um, Nigeti bags. So this pouch here is the Olivia Organizer pouch, I believe is what it's called by Parker Clay. This is in the pretty sand leather and it unzips to open up really, really wide. And you can pack, as you can see, a ton in here. I even have my big like lip mask thing in there that I love. Um, I have my pillowcase down in here. This I did a little reel on. I'm not sure if I've showed it like in a packing video, but look how cool this is. It's like the little things, I'll tell you what. Um, this is from Amazon and it comes with all of these labels. Like get out of here. It came with like three, 290 something labels. <laughs> that you can customize your pillowcase and they're really 
you know, it's like your standard pillowcase, but I love it because you can just kind of see everything that's inside. So I have that down in there. I have um, my Touchland hand sanitizer. I have all of my lip products. I have a full size hand cream, like a big one down in that pouch also. My gum, my cuticle cream, all this stuff is just down perfectly inside this pouch. And it's really, there's a ton in there and yet you can still push it together and zip it up. Like no problem at all. It's really awesome. Okay, so what I wanna do is move this and pack. I'm gonna see if I can pack everything that I had in this one inside that MZ Wallace bag, just so you can see um, how they compare. All right, so everything that I just fit in that Agetti bag fits perfectly inside of the small Metro Tote Deluxe. It is a tad bit snugger, mainly because of the material of this one versus the neoprene kind of uh, like stretchy, I don't wanna say stretchy, but you know what I mean, like material of that other one. Um, I can easily probably even make a little bit more room if I were to pull up the sides here. Oh yeah, that like opened up a ton of room inside the bag. And then you still have all of these exterior pockets. Now, when you have this small Metro tote packed as full as I do, you don't get as much use out of these side pockets, but they're still, I mean, I wanted to put a snack down in there for sure. Like there's still a good bit of room like in these side pockets. And then you have these little pockets here for like hand sanitizer and your keys. Slip these down in here instead of in the, the big bulk. You can even put like these glasses and kind of down in the front there. So it's a very deep pocket, can't even see them hardly. So a little bit more options kind of with this one, but everything fits just like in that spaghetti. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were interested in this Negetti tote. I will have my what's in my bag post as well as links to anything that you need down in the description box as well as pinned there at the top of the comments. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you soon.